Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph. I want to start off by saying that iFootage did send me these particular lights, the Anglerfish uh, 60DN and then the Anglerfish 320DN. These are all constant white bright lights. And my initial opinion about it when I unboxed it for the video that you're about to watch, right? I loved it. I loved the build. I loved the quality of light I was getting. It was truly amazing. And I have delayed this video. That is one thing I want to also let you guys know. You know, I wasn't consistent on the channel for a while because I was doing some client work. I was doing so many things. I was traveling. So many things were happening at that point in time. I delayed uh, putting out this video. Even though I had filmed the majority of the portions that I wanted to use for this video earlier on, I still got delayed because there were certain things I wanted to add. I hadn't gotten the chance to film and all of that and it caused the delay. But here's the advantage that I see that has come out of this delay. I've been able to put this light into so many scenarios for indoor interviews, uh, to film events, to film like uh, fashion videos. I've put this light in so many different scenarios and I absolutely love it. So what you're gonna see is that I'm gonna use this light to film a YouTuber's video session. She's already put a video out there like months ago. So I'm gonna leave a link down below. You can click it to go and watch it. You see how the light performed for that. And then also a friend of mine came into my home studio to create a series of images for a client of his. And then we ended up using these lights for it. So we use the 60 watt light and then the 320 watts. I'll show you how we put everything together. But then again, you can use this light for photos Tools, you can use it for videos it's powerful enough and it's something that i feel you can trust anglerfish did really do amazing with this light i've been using some iPhoto products already and been recommending their stands primarily and so when i received this light i already knew that it was something i was going to love but using it for this extended period has just made me more drawn to it and i really love the lights all right so i'm going to leave you guys actually to watch how we put everything together for the youtubers video and then i'm also going to run you through how we created a setup for the photo shoot <laughs> Guys, I'm super excited about today's video. I got a couple of items from iFootage. They are brand new lights, some stands, some other accessories. I've been using it for a while. To be honest, the lights are great. They are awesome. For the price and what you get is great. What I want to do is put it into different situations, different real world scenarios to see how it performs. So that's what this video is primarily about. In this space, we have an amazing YouTuber that we're going to be filming today. I want to put this light into a practical use so you guys will see it and how it performs in different situations. So if you want to see the actual video that we create from today's session, I'm gonna put a link down below. You can watch that full thing. I'm just gonna put a snippet of it on here on this channel, but if you wanna see the whole thing, you can go on to her channel to check it out. So I have two lights, two amazing lights. The first one is a 60 watt light. And what really caught my eye was the fact that a 60 watt light comes in this amazing package. Let me just go through it real quick. First of all, it's sturdy. There is a strap here that you can place your stands on. And if if I open it, the first thing that you're met with is obviously the cable. And then when you open it, <laughs> sorry about that. We have an amazing light, a very small, handy and portable light. This light can be powered by DC and also type C. I've actually used my MacBook um, charger. It's a 96 watt charger to turn this light on and it was working real fine. It's a really small light, 60 watt lights. I've never been this small. I love it. It has a couple of buttons at the back for dimming that is moving the lights up and down. You have your on and off button and then you have another one here just to turn the effects, you know, the frequency and all those things. So this light, even though it's very small, it's quite powerful for 60 watts and then you also have some effects with it. Now the next bag I have here is a rather big and hefty bag. This is the 320 watts. Um, these lights are not bicolor, they're not RGB, they are just a bright full spectrum white light and that's what's like really really amazing about it the fact that the light that comes out of it is like pure white very very close to the sun that's what is marketed as but since i've been using it this light anywhere i take it to when i turn it on people are like this light is really really white it's really bright you know it doesn't have that blue or green tint it's, it's amazing and then this is how the 300 watt light looks like and I'm also able to hold it easily in one hand. This should let you know that it's not really, really heavy. I want us to figure out where we want to film our subject and then we can start placing our lights so you guys will see how this light comes together. I did get a few other accessories that came with the package. For example, this one, which is this hand grip that has a V mount over here and a cable so that you can just put this you can mount your 60 watt light on it, add a V mount battery, and then you can just go handheld easily. I also got 
this adapter because this is a very small light the bowens mount is a mini bowens mount so first of all you need to convert this into like the larger bowens so you can put your larger uh, Bowens modifiers or the regular Bowens modifiers on it directly. So if you want to do that, uh, you need this adapter to be able to do that. I also did get a couple of soft boxes, the 60 watt soft box and then the 90 watt soft box. So I feel like I've showed you guys everything that came in the package. I can't wait to start putting all of this together so we are able to shoot our talent for today. I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay up, up and I'll come home, don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up. I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay up, up and I'll come home, don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up. Tonight I'm in it for the big fun, this time I'm bringing up the big guns, bang bang. All right, so even though um, like we have a very beautiful space, I first of all need to figure out where my camera is going to be positioned at before I even start adding the lights. So I'm just going to move around. I'm holding the camera right now and I'm just going to look for something that looks a bit flattering. And that's the power of cinema. Like even though we have so much gear in the space, we can just pick and choose where we want to shoot from. I think I'm liking this angle. You want to be relaxed, right? Okay, so I think, yeah, and then like, oh no, no, no you are. This is a fun video. Okay, cool. So I think this angle is what I will want to maintain. So now that I have the position where I want my camera to be, I'm just gonna bring the stand and then I'll set it up in place. And now we can start positioning our lights and then testing and then figuring out what's actually going to flat out the scene. The first thing is I know I want to increase the depth so I probably will just bring this couch a little bit more forward so that we have more distance between where she is and the backdrop allowing us to blur the background even more. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm also going to start setting up the lights as well. Let me some the chairs. Okay, I think something like this should be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay, so back in position. Um... Okay, guys, let me quickly show you how we've been able to put this together. So this is our main light. This is the 90cm softbox from iFootage. And then we have the 320DN in there. So that's like our main light. And then in the back over here, we have the 60 watt light or the 60DN modified with a 60 centimeter softbox. So if I just move a little closer, you will see that we have very nice lights on Matilda. Um, coming from our main light and then on the edge we have a 60 watts just separating here from the backdrop a bit So this is a simple two light setup. I have boomed this dainty mic to pick up sound from here when she's talking And I've just done a little bit of a DIY uh, Construction just to get the cable into the camera and also what we're using is the Sony ZV-E10 This is Mathilda's camera actually. So what I want to do is just show you that you know, with good lighting, you can get decent, like very, very good looking footage from your camera. And the behind the scenes camera is the M6 Mark II. So yeah, <laughs> that's what we're using to film the behind the scenes. So this is everything that's going on. Mathilda, are you ready to start talking yeah. to your audience? <laughs> She's been ready for hours, to be honest. <laughs> All right, um, let's just start recording and then let's see. I mean, you guys will get to see the footage. Okay. So three, two, one, and... Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay up, up and I'll come home. Don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up. I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay Somebody up. said, which age did you break your virginity? I think virginity is a social construct. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the behind the scenes of the photo shoot as well. But what I want to do is just talk to you guys a little bit about the lighting setup. So we did a simple two light setup. The first light that we are using to light our subject, which is our main light, is the 60 watts. And the good thing is, like I said, I have a Fresnel, which can double the output of any light that you attach the Fresnel to, right? So I placed the Fresnel on the adapted 60 watt light because the 60 watt light is a small light. It has a very small bowing mount. So you need to get the adapter that's gonna change it from that small mount to the light 
larger Bowens mount so you can fit your regular Bowens mount modifiers on it directly. So that's what I did. I had a small light and then I had the adapter on there and then I placed the Fresnel on it and then it doubled the output. So we were able to position the light exactly where we wanted it to, to just to light our subject. And then we realized that it was creating like really dramatic shadows and we wanted to soften it a little bit. So this is where we brought in the 320 watt and then we just, you know, bounce that light into the ceiling so that we have a brighter exposure in the room to soften the shadows and then just draw more attention and you know just create a very soft um, airy feel to the dramatic images that we wanted to create so that balance is something that I tend to like most of the time where I have like a very contrasty light creating shape and form to my subject and then I have a very soft light just diffusing the shadows and then making all the transitions a little bit smoother and these lights work pretty well so I feel you can use it for your studio photography as well especially if you're new to using strobes and you, you know you don't know how light travels you don't know how the shape of your modifier is going to affect your light it's actually really good to start with LEDs and these days LEDs are getting so so good these lights are very very amazing you can start with that you can place your modifier on there and because it's a constant light you will see where the light is going and then if you make any modifications to it you get to see it in real time so it gets to save you a bunch of time if you're using LEDs and I would recommend these lights because they are amazing let me just leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the behind the scenes I will be using this uh, these lights for future videos for photography and for videos so stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed this is a good chance for you to subscribe to the channel and also I still have my digital store running so if you want to purchase anything to support me you can go onto my website the link is going to be down below and also if you want to get these lights i'm going to put the links down below you can check those out and um thank you guys for your support through and through i will catch you guys in the next video until then remember don't ever give up for the big fun this time i'm bringing up the big guns bang bang they wonder can i get some what i got for everyone yeah Stand up and